In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred one more Kashmiri youth in Poonch district today. The youth was martyred by the troops during a search operation in a forest area of the district. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, APHC senior vice chairman Ghulam Ahmed Gulzar has said that India's deceitful occupation of Kashmir is replete with fraud and conspiracies and has again planned to stage a drama ahead of the proposed G20 event to malign the Kashmir freedom movement. Meanwhile, in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the all-party Suryut conference leader, advocate Devinder Singh Behel, has said that the Indian forces have broken all records of human rights violation in the territory. Advocate Devinder Singh Behel, in a statement issued in Jammu, said, Those who speak against the human rights violations are implicated in different false and frivolous criminal cases by the fascist government, which has badly hampered freedom of speech and expression. India is continuously violating all international laws and conventions in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. The political experts and analysts in their interviews and statement in Srinagar said, People of the territory are even deprived of the basic human rights. They said the Modi regime is using black laws like Public Safety Act and Unlawful Activities Prevention Act in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir to arrest innocent people in the occupied territory. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the People's Democratic Party has said the BJP's Kashmir policy and its Naya Kashmir rhetoric are like the emperor's new clothes that the judiciary and civil society have no option but to praise. Moreover, in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the president of National Conference, Farooq Abdullah, has said that the Mughal history cannot be erased and by such actions the Bhatia Janta Party led, government is hitting its own feet with an axe. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the Jammu and Kashmir Muslim League has welcomed the recent statement of the Pakistan Army Chief Sayyid Asim Munir, in which he stressed the Kashmir solution through the United Nations resolution and the aspiration of the Kashmiri people. He said the people of Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir have sacrificed lakhs of lives and suffered losses worth trillions of rupees for the sacred cause and would continue their struggle till complete success.